I feel like I get the hand wave all the time. Ah, well, I found an error in 2 Hezekiah 13, 71 in the Simplified King James, so we can't use that Bible. I say, way, brothers and sisters, way. I'm standing up now because I'm passionate. Way all of the dangers and problems to readability that come from the dead words and false friends against the yes, okay, modern English version had a mistake and an obscure place in Isaiah that doesn't mislead anybody. Weigh them with just weights. That's what I'd say. This is where you and I have a very, very sharp difference. Uh, when you say I dismiss it with a wave of the hand. So, so take the MEV, for example. I did a critique of the MEV when it came out because someone told me it was a TR-based translation. Yeah. And uh, actually, if you get online and you look at my book, The uh, Next Challenger, it's a critique of the MEV, and you're going to find out it's outdated. Because what happened is, after I put that out, the editor of the MEV called, left me a, a long message about four different... Uh, messages on the phone and said that they had gone back in and made some changes. They had updated and made some corrections, and I thought that was good. They should have. The NIV has gone through multiple, multiple, multiple updates because of so many mistakes uh, in the earlier ones. The King James has already done, th done that. It's already gone through a lot of those things. And every time I look at these new translations, I don't mean to dismiss them with a wave of the hand, but I'm grossly disappointed that they don't, they change more than they need to change. Uh, the simplified King James is the most recent. Uh, he takes the word seed and he changes the word seed to offspring. And you completely lose the breakdown of the whole continuity of that word throughout scripture. And it, it's a problem even in other languages when you take, because in other languages, the word seed, it means seed in the original Hebrew right there. And so when I see, and I see verses taken out of some of these new Bibles, and I know I, you, I know you want to set those aside, but you, you philosophically, you want to help us update the King James, but the problem is a trust factor because you don't think those things are important. True. And so it's like, you don't think what's important to us is important, so why would we trust that? 